Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing examples using Spring Boot and Elasticsearch. In one of the previous tutorials, we implemented CRUD operations using Spring Boot and Elasticsearch. In this tutorial, we'll be further modifying this example to implement pagination. So we'll be looking at what is pagination and how to implement it for Spring Boot and Elasticsearch. For this, I'll be taking reference of my website javanews.com. So go to Spring Boot Elasticsearch tutorials here. The example that we'll be looking at today is Spring Boot Elasticsearch CRUD pagination example. Previous tutorial, we had implemented Spring Boot Elasticsearch CRUD example. So go to this tutorial here. In this tutorial, we had created a Spring Boot 3 application. It performed CRUD operation on the Elasticsearch. So for this, we had set up an Elasticsearch instance and established a connection between Spring Boot and Elasticsearch, which was an HTTPS connection, and then performed the CRUD operations. You can go through the YouTube video here. We'll be further modifying this example to get paginated data from Elasticsearch using the Spring Boot application. So go below and download the Spring Boot application that we had developed before. So here below we have the download link. Here in Eclipse we have imported the downloaded Megan project. Before we start this project, we'll need to start the Elasticsearch instance. So here go to the bin folder, add the command called and make use of Elasticsearch.bat file to start the Elasticsearch instance. Also for this Elasticsearch instance, we have configured the username as Elastic and password as Java Emu. So go through the previous Elasticsearch CRUD example that we had implemented. There we had done all this configuration. So here in the Elasticsearch instance, it has started successfully. Before we start this million project, let us build it quickly. Run as million install. So here the build is successful. Go to source in Java. And run as Java application. This will start the application. So here application, it has started successfully on port 8080. For the Spring Boot application, we had created a class named Employee Controller where we exposed various endpoints to perform CRUD operations on the Elasticsearch database. One of these endpoints is a get mapping with the URL slash employees. So this fetches the list of employees from the Elasticsearch index named employees. So we'll be making use of this URL to get the list of employees from the employee index. So you go to localhost ATT slash employees. This will get us all the employees from the employee index of the Elasticsearch database. So currently this employee index it has 10 records or documents next we'll be modifying the Spring Boot application to find these records or documents in paginated format before we begin with the implementation let us first have a look at what is pagination and why it is required so displaying large amounts of data in a single view it can be overwhelming and it hinders user experience a common approach to address this issue is pagination where the data it is divided into smaller manageable batches or pages by implementing pagination, we can improve both the user interface as well as the overall performance of the application. Suppose we have 100 records that need to be displayed. Now instead of rendering all these 100 records at once which would result in cluttered UI and also slower performance as we need to fetch all these 100 records at a time. Instead what we'll do is using pagination, we'll display only 10 records to the user at a time. If the user he wants the next 10 records, then he can click on the next page to get the next 10 records. So what pagination does is that it provides a much cleaner view to the user and also the page loading, it will be much faster because at a time we are only fetching 10 records and displaying it to the user. Instead what we'll do is using pagination, we'll display only 10 records to the user at a time. If the user he wants the next 10 records, then he can click on the next page to get the next 10 records. So what pagination does is that it provides a much cleaner view to the user and also the page loading it will be much faster because at a time we are only fetching 10 records and displaying it to the user so let us begin with the implementation part so previously we had seen that the employee index of Elasticsearch it has 10 documents so Elasticsearch library it provides us page request class this page request it takes two parameters page number and size now suppose the size is 2 and currently we have 10 documents here so if the size is 2, then each page it will have 2 documents or 2 records. So if the size is 2 for these 10 records, then the first page it will have the first 2 documents. The next page it will have the next 2 documents. The next page it will have the other 2 documents and so on. So for this 10 documents, we'll have 5 pages. Now suppose if the size, if we give it as 3, then the first page it will have the first 3 documents. The next page it will have the other 3 documents and so on to this page request now we pass the page number as 2 and also the size as 2 then as the size is 2 so each page it will be having two reports or documents and the page number is also 2 so the first page it is always page 0 page 1 page 2 so these two records or documents it will be returned back post to this page request we pass the page number as 3 and size also as 3 then page 0 it will have the first three documents page 1 the other three page 2 the other three and finally page three we have only a single document or record left here so only this single 
document or record, it will be returned back. Now that we have understood the working of page request, let us look at the changes that will be making to our Spring Boot Elasticsearch for implementing pagination. So in the controller class, we will be adding an additional controller, a get method within the URL slash employee page, which takes the page number and size. So we have already seen here the page number and size. What does it mean? So we'll be taking these two parameters in the controller class. The controller class passes these parameters page and size to the employee service. In the employee service class, a page request object with the page number and size is constructed and this object is then passed to the employee repository. Finally, the employee repository, it queries the Elasticsearch for pagination with the page request. Elasticsearch then returns back a page having the employees depending upon the parameters that are passed for pagination. This employee page is then passed by the repository to the employee service. The employee service then converts this page employee to page retio using the employee mapper and finally it is returned back to the user. So let us implement these changes. First we making the changes for the employee repository. So previously the employee repository that we had created, it provided us CRUD operations by default. Now we will be adding a new method to it with the name find all. This method it takes the pageable parameter. So Spring Data Elasticsearch, it will automatically construct the appropriate Elasticsearch query based on this pageable parameter and return us a paginated result set. Let us make this change, copy this, go to the employee repository and add this method here. The next thing we will be making is in the employee service interface. In this interface, we will be adding a new method named get paginated employees, which takes two parameters, page number and size. Also, it returns back page of type employee DTO. So copy this, go to employee service. Now go to the employee service IMPL, which implements the employee service interface. It will give us an exception that we need to add the unimplemented method. So add this unimplemented method. So here get paginated employees, we need to write the logic here. In the employee service IMPL class, we have the get paginated employees method, which takes the page number and size. So using this page number and size, we create a page request. This page request is then sent to the find all methods of the employee repository. The employee repository find all method then queries Elasticsearch and returns us back the paginated result of type employee. Next, using the employee mapper class that we have written, will convert the paginated results of type employee to paginated results of type employee DTO. And then this will be written back to the controller. Let us implement these changes for employee service INPL. Finally, in the employee controller class, we will be exposing a get rest endpoint with the URL slash employee page. So here in the get paginated employees method, we will be taking two request parameters from the user the page number and size. So which page number he wants and what is the size of each page. So we have already seen what these two parameters are. And these parameters are then passed to the get paginated employees method of the employee service, which returns us a paginated result of type employee DTO. This is then finally returned back to the user. So let us create this method in the controller class. Go to employee controller and add this method here. We are done with all the code changes for pagination. Let us now test them. So start this application. So here the application it has started. If I now go to localhost 8080 slash employee page. And here, suppose if I give page as 3 and also the size as 3. So here since the size is 3, so each page it will have 3 documents. So first page is always page 0. So page 0 it will have 3 documents. Page 1 it will have 3 documents. Page 2 it will have 3 documents. And finally, page 3 it will be having a single document. So only this document will be returned back. So let us test this, press enter. Here in the URL, it should be page number. Here, if you will see a single document is being returned back. So, a pagination, it is working properly. Suppose if I give you a page 1, then 3 records of the first page will be returned back. So, here 3 records, they are being returned back. If you have understood this tutorial, you can download the source code from here. Thank you.